Are you and your family headed to Joshua Tree, but you're not sure where to stay? Well, in this week's video, we're gonna tell you why you need to stay at the Palm Springs Joshua Tree KOA. Cue the intro. What's up, YouTube? Trevi from the Adventure Buddies, the modern travel family, bringing you another video filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration to make sure you maximize your next family adventure, like we always do here at the Adventure Buddies. So first and foremost, what is a KOA? So KOA is Camp of America, and this is an organization that has a ton of different campsites all across the United States. If you haven't checked it out, we highly suggest you do, especially if you are a beginner into the world of camping. This is gonna make that ease into camping a breeze, and we'll get into that in a little bit more as we explain the amenities of this KOA. So first and foremost, let's talk about the lodging opportunities that you have at this KOA here in Joshua Tree. So you have three main options. One, you can bring your RV if you do have an RV. Two, you can rent a tent site where you can bring your own tent. Or three, they do have some lodging available. And so that's either in a glamping tent or in a deluxe cabin. So next, let's get into the prices of each and which one we prefer in our latest adventure. So as we talk through pricing, again, this is all variable based on the season. If you go through the summer, that is the off season because of the heat here in the desert. But if you are looking to rent a tent site, that is about $45 a night. Or if you are looking for the lodging options, you do have about $175 a night for the glamping or about $225 for the deluxe cabin. Those sleep anywhere from two to four, maybe even six people at a time. And it may be worth it to spring a little bit of extra money for the AC in the desert. So which one did we go with on our vacation? Well, we decided to go with a glamping tent. This was a large canvas tent that made us feel like we were in an African safari. So this was a huge tent that offered a large dining room, a master bed, and a back room that housed two bunk beds. So you could actually sleep four people in the back, a full bathroom, plus a sink with a fridge and a freezer for your convenience. And yes, there was a fan plus it had AC inside a tent. You heard me right, AC in a tent. Plus, our favorite amenity was the fire pit that this included. This was an electric fireplace where it allowed you to have an opportunity to lounge after a long day of hiking and roast those s'mores to make the camping experience feel real. So now let's talk about all the other amenities that come with the KOA. So we just went over the price and some of the lodging that we went into, but baked into that price is secluded some of the amenities and let's get into those right now. So first and foremost, and this was especially important because we were in the desert, was a large pool and a few mineral hot tubs. So this pool was very spacious and the water temperature was perfect. So relaxing after a long hot day of hiking down Joshua Tree National Park. On top of that, they had an 18 hole, you heard me right, 18 hole miniature golf course and this was absolutely free as long as you were a resident plus there they had some pickleball courts basketball courts plus in their busy season which is typically the fall to winter time frame they then put up their rock climbing wall and their jump pad and this allows you to have non-stop adventures located in the four walls of your koa and then one of the other amenities that we need to call out, and this is unique with all KOAs, is that they did have a built-in convenience store inside their lodge. So if you forgot anything for your camping trip, they had you covered. If you wanted an ice cream cone for that sweet tooth, they had you covered. So again, going into the lodge, into the convenience stores, makes staying at a KOA that much more convenient. So we had an absolute blast staying at this KOA. However, a bit of a disclaimer is that when we booked it, we didn't pay too much attention to the proximity to the National Park entrance. So just be aware that this is on the south side of the park and it actually took us about an hour and a half to get from our KOA to the entrance of Joshua Tree. So it was a bit of a hassle, but in the end, we had an awesome time both inside Joshua Tree National Park. If you wanna learn more about what to do with your kids in that park, click the link above here and staying in our KOA. So if you've ever stayed at a KOA, drop a comment and tell us where and what were your thoughts on it. Because again, it is not for everybody, but it is recommended for those getting into camping for the first time with their family. So I'm Matt from The Adventure Buddies. And if you like this video, please consider giving us that big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more travel tips and adventures. And most importantly, remember, life's an adventure. Who are you going on it with?